Um, I'm going to hand over to the audience in a minute, but I just want to ask one more question to Mark. This is a cheeky one, so I won't be as much. I was surprised and delighted um, to see you get to go toe to toe with uh, Chris Jones. Oh, uh, Chris. Kicker himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris. Um, so, serious question. Yeah, serious question. Did you have to shoot him in the foot to beat him? You've not seen it, so you won't get it. But trust me, it'd be funny when you've seen the film. No, I was, I was playing with him, you know. <laughs> yeah, it was just a bit of, bit of playful fun when you were shooting in the foot. I really wanted to shoot him right through the neck. Yeah. <laughs> you guys will appreciate that. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. nice to see on the film. Yeah. You know, I see people who recognise the stuff and bring those, you know, quality you know, people and stuff, and actors and stuff, and, yeah. and, the, and the cast did a, a fantastic job. I'd like to go out to the audience and just say, um, questions to to cast and crew. Has anybody got or would like to ask a question? I have a microphone here as well. <laughs> Nobody. No. Yeah, there is. Yeah. <laughs> let me let me take this one because this gentleman puts out and I'll come to yourself. We'll pass that down just in case it goes on. Afternoon, guys. Hey, hello. It's all five of you. Um, when you were growing up as lads, what action film, action star inspired you when you grew up? Being tall, industry. Uh, well, I, I grew up uh, <coughs> watching a lot of action films with my dad. Yeah. Um, watched, uh, I remember watching Terminator constantly, number two, uh, Rambo constantly, and uh, I think Commando was on every now and then. Uh, but then as I, I grew older, I got more into animated stuff, which was like you know, the Batman animated series and all that kind of thing, X Men. And then I became a bit of a nerd and got into comic books, and then I grew into movies, and then I just digested every movie that I could, whether it was a really terrible movie or a really good movie. I just sat there. My, my first thing was to watch, always the first thing, was to watch all the behind the scenes filmmaking, how the movie was made, and then watch the movie, because then I'd appreciate the movie even more. And over the last like 15, 20 years, that's what I've been doing. So every time I watch a movie, if I buy one on DVD, never watch the movie first, I'll always watch the behind the scenes to understand how the movie was made so then I can appreciate it and finally do get to watch it. And um, so that's kind of always been my thing. Um, and action movies wise, yeah, it's just like David said, it's always been those old school for making, but then the new school ones as well, which is like your on back, your uh, the protector, your the rave movies, the night comes for us, headshot, all those kind of movies are like super influential to me. And the cinematography for this movie was something that I tried to replicate. Was when I went into Indonesia and met with the guys from the Raven and the Mike Consorts. It was that kind of filmmaking that I wanted to make. And luckily that we had Mark Stranger who knows that world, who knows that type of martial art. And Nick also we went to Indonesia together. And we were able to sit with the masters over there, you know, Yayan and Chechek, who were the two guys from the Raid, and learn how they tell the stuff. And for me to sit personally with the director of the night comes for us, and for him to tell me how the movie was made and coach me on that this is how we do things, this is how action is made. And you know, to spend a good six, seven, eight days with them every day, non stop, you know, I think is a privilege very few get to have. And and I put that knowledge into Rupture and hopefully shown on the screen, hopefully they'll show him the movie when people do finally get to watch the final thing. Sorry to answer that very short question. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it was kind of um, it was Stallone, Jackie Chan, all the old school kind of um, you know um, Chinese kind of Hong Kong masters. I call them. Um, that was for me the, the day. Obviously, getting to work with Jackie Chan on two features back in when I was a young whippersnapper as well. Uh, that was incredible. Because um, when you grow up in a in, in a place called Leyland, which is the middle of nowhere, yeah, you never ever think that you'd be watching your hero as 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 a kid, and then next minute you're working with him. That is just so surreal. It's um, it's incredible. But but Stallone really. For me, action-wise, he's got it all. He directs. He he, he kind of uh, you know he acts. He's got the whole package. So for, for yeah yeah for me, for me <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, but that, it's kind of I uh, you know I just I'm a massive action junk, junkie. And I'm a huge fan of eighties and nineties action movies. Uh, In camera action. Um, I'm not a massive fan of kind of 
too many special effects. I like being, I like seeing wires used, I like seeing people being thrown and chucked and hit, you know. Uh, less, you know, John Wick is, is, is of the modern, modern time. I like the whole assassin thing and, and uh, yeah, just incredible. Obviously working with Scott and on things as well, um, uh, you know. I've learned so much on this journey and it's, it's took me all over the world and, and very grateful from being a little kid, looking up to all these great gods of action and, and then obviously getting the opportunity to work with them has been insane. I think bar working with you guys and a career highlight um, so far, it's got to be it, man. You know that that to me is it was insane. That was um, you know I was on a magazine actually, um, and it said it man too, and it had a picture of Samo and, and what, and I was on the front cover, and and then I never thought like several years later I'd be in that franchise was was insane. But you can do anything. You just got to put your mind to it. That's you know. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of grew up, well, I grew up in the 70s, so I grew up on films um, that were superhero type stuff. So you, you had the Six Million Dollar Man, which probably the majority of you have never heard of, um, The Incredible Hulk, uh, and, and programs like that. So. I always wanted to be the bionic man, so I wanted to be the, the strength, the, the part rover. I'm, I'm a big sci-fi nerd uh, more than anything else. And then I kind of narrowed my options down there, because um, there's only certain things I like doing. So it, it, type of films, I would say it's horror, um, not so much action, um, even though I do love action films, and I have a lot of respect for action films, but I'm more about using laser guns and everything else. So when Ranchi came up with uh, Rupture, and it's a, a cyberpunk thing, it reminded me a lot of Blade Runner. And uh, I didn't care what role, you know, Ranchi offered me the role that I was doing, but I said, you know, I'd even walk just past the screen for two minutes just to be in it, because it was such a fantastic script. It's going to be such a mind blower. Um, I'm so proud of Ranchi to see, because we've known each other for, very long time to see where where he started to where he is now and guarantee in the next five years he's going to be up on that red carpet up and down in Hollywood. Um, it's just an honour to, to to work with him on all these projects. In fact, I dropped projects to actually work with him. That's how good this guy is, uh, and he has so much trust and faith in me that I I'm actually free to do what I want in the scene. Sometimes he looks a little crazy and out there, as we all know. But Ranji allows me that freedom so I can do what I think I do best and that's just act. And he always puts me, um, and I'm sure it's the same with everyone else on here, he always puts us with other actors who can pull that off. Like Mark, David, Nick. Fantastic to work with them. It's such a bond and... and, and, and like-mindedness when we come in to do the scenes that it's not an effort, it's not work, it's just pure joy. And this is the reason why I want to act, is because it's a joy, it's, it's a passion, it's a passion yeah. to, 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 to get It's not a job, is it? It's not a job, no, 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 no. it's one, it's, it's the best it's thing to do for me. It is, it's <laughs> five years old playing in the class at the playground. It's fantastic and um, I, I always say, um, it doesn't matter how big the project is, how small the project is, um, for us guys, as long as we're doing what we're doing, we're going to enjoy it and it's always going to be something special. And, you know, like I said before, it's an honour to work with these guys and it's always an honour for this guy to always have me on his films. So, there you go. You oh, beat me and Ramsey. Similar ages, so we were like growing up in the 80s, yeah. so we had like the Batman of the 1970s, and then the VHSs came out in the 1980s, and like and the Beat'em Axes, like yeah. So we had like the First Blood, which I think is the greatest action film ever made, and it's still my favourite. I think it's First Blood, yeah, the first one, yeah. Exactly. And the second one, I got obsessed with that as a child, and I used to watch it every single day until I knew the script word for word as a kid. 
You know what I mean? I get in from school and I was watching Rambo every single day. And you know what? He only kills one person in that film. Yeah, it's I know. The guy that falls out there. Yeah, yeah, the helicopter got yeah. isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so it was a great time. And also, I fell in love with the B movies from the 80s, the Canon collection, the American Ninja, American Ninja 2, Avenging Force, Delta Force. You know what I mean? So I, I love B movies. <laughs> yeah. I love B movies. I think you can find so much joy in them, even if things are not done very well. It doesn't matter. It's just, they just, it's a fun experience. So I just, you know, I just, I just love watching stuff like that. And then when I decided to become an actor, I was actually 34. I started pretty late. Um, and I first met Ramjeet in 2011, and he advertised for this role in a film called Killer Capone. And I put myself out there, and I'd never done a film before. It was like my first one. So I think somebody dropped out and I inboxed him and he got me down there. We shot this little short, didn't we, in a day? And then that was it. And then we've worked on so many films since then, from Gangster Schools and Psychopaths to a hostile situation. I know we've, we've done promos, haven't we? And he's never ever forgotten it, do you know what I mean? Because it, it might have been about two or three years where we did work together. And then when he got a budget for exile, the first thing he did was get in touch with me. You know, and, and he, he's never forgot the people that have, you know, giving so much energy and so much loyalty and, and that will always be, I would drop anything to work with this guy. There's a, lot, there's a lot of love going on. Nick, Nick, finally. Finally for me, um, obviously it was Van Damme back in the days, Rocky, just like everyone else, but I think the turning point for, for me uh, was obviously the raid on the back uh, and then obviously also going to Thailand and getting a chance to train with the Sun teams and seeing how much work was actually needed to actually devote yourself. So I think everything in general, I mean obviously you see everything now from the Marvel Universe, but for me what always gets me intrigued, that, that gets me glued, is the violence. I love violence. I think violence is like... Poetry. It's like sex. It's, it's, like, it's, like, it's like an art itself. It's like how the way you choreograph something, how the way you bring it to life, how the way actors bring it up. It's a, it's a story in itself. So for me, if it's the same jab cross kick, then it gets kind of boring for, for, for me. For me, and obviously just like a lot of the audience, where a lot of the movies are the same. But with action now, if you look at Kung Fu, if you look at wrestling, if you look at a lot of the stuff that's been mixed in due, due to MMA. So for me, it's like every single movie that comes out, whether it's uh, manga movies as well, um, if there's something different in there, I might just want to take it on board. But I think for me, it's more kind of, I can't really enjoy it. Like action movies long, but I can't actually enjoy it much. Like I'm actually just trying to dissect it, but also go, okay, I could do this, or I could do that. But yeah, but obviously Jackie Chan was, there, was a huge, huge inspiration, and, and, and obviously Donnie Yen. Um, and yeah, so this is pretty much everything. That's great. I don't know if we've got time for one more question. Uh, very quickly, you very, very quickly. Get checks this, uh, watch. It should be a very brief one. Um, just to you guys as actors and directors, respectfully, how important do you think uh, the martial arts training has been for the choreographing of specific <laughs> scenes? <laughs> I'm only a little guy down here. <laughs> uh, just just how, how important do you think the uh, martial arts training has been, respectfully, as, as actors and directors to film uh, a, a full-on action movie like this? Well, I come from a fight background, and my, my entire career has been martial arts from when I was 10 years old. It was movies that got me into it. Um, and then I went full circle from being a fighter to an actor to doing it pretend kind of thing. I want to say pretend. I've been injured more doing films than I have the entire fight career. Yeah, for real. So it's, um, yeah, it's a tough, tough thing. It's definitely work in Hong Kong. Yeah, um, they don't care if you're an actor over there. Mm. Yeah, then, you know, you do your stuff. You know, and you get on with it and you do a good job. You know, it's, yeah, there's it's, a decided shortage of stunt doubles over there, isn't there? So it's, yeah. it's either you or not, and that's yeah, it. Yeah, and I tend to, I don't like using doubles. I, I'll do all my own stuff. Yeah, um, so that's how pretty much I, I work, you know. Uh, unless they want me to jump off a building because I'm scared of heights. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never do that. <laughs> but, um, that, that's all we've got time for because we're going to go to the next bit. We've got a fun packed day for you. Once again, for your entertainment, the uh, casting crew of Rupture Lives and Injection. <laughs>